Man, it's Loki Lockdown, and we back with another video. Today, we got another matchup for y'all. Ikram Alaskara versus Paula Costa. This is another matchup on the UFC 291 fight card, which is absolutely, like I said, one of the best cards that has ever been in a promotion of the UFC in history, bro. It is just so stacked, and if you know, you know. Man, look, so for one, Ikram is a... Dagestani wrestler slash you know he does a pretty good job of striking so I ain't just gonna call him primarily a wrestler because I've seen him go out there and strike and he has that ability to knock people out but he also has you know that wrestling just like you know you know how people have that bailout power or like a bailout what's his name he has a bailout wrestling ability so if he can't beat you with his hands he could bail out and wrestle you and, and fuck you up like that but yeah and then we got Paula Costa. Paula Costa, you know, he's on the Secret Juice, man. It's Secret Juice. I call him Secret Juice, man. That's what I call him. But uh, Paula Costa, you know, besides, you know, the jokes, I mean, uh, I don't think that he would make that many jokes about being on Juice if, if, he, if he was actually on Juice. That's kind of crazy if he does. But, I mean, he looks like it. But at the same time, you can't tell a man he on Juice if, you know, you don't know. He has some excellent striking, of course. He has uh, the better fights on his resume, obviously fighting Yo Romero and Israel Adesani, and you know he just had a he had better competition on his resume. Even though he doesn't win every single fight that you know that I mentioned, I mean he won the one with. Uh, he, but yeah, that's besides the point, man. So look, he has excellent striking, great power behind his punches, man. He has a uh, is extremely underrated set of kicks. Honestly, he has an extremely underrated set of kicks, good body kicks, good sneaky left high kicks. And, uh, you know, these fighters are both similar age, 30 uh, and 32. Ikram being 30 years old, Paula Costa being 32. So it's not like they're both like, it's not like one fighter old as shit and other fighter young and brand new. I mean, they're pretty much the same age. Uh, Paula Costa is a very patient fighter. You know, he likes to wait. He won't let you bait him in too often. I mean, I'm going to say too often because no fighter is 100% patient. That's a lie. Because you, if you're 100% patient, then you're just a counter fight, a counter strike fighter. And that doesn't usually work out too well if you're doing it the whole time. That works in certain scenarios, not the whole time. You got you to gotta be on the offensive at some point. And it, sometimes you got to take risks. Fighting is a risk in general. So... Paula Costa is extremely tough, but uh, it all depends. For this fight, it really all depends on where this fight is going to be taking place. Will it take place on the feet? Because if it takes place on the feet, I think I'm going to put my money on Costa. Because Costa has, uh, I think he has the better striking. But at the same time, honestly, my money could go either way. Because Ikram, he has some sneaky, uh, he has a sneaky arsenal of like strikes, to be honest, man. He does like them knees that he just throws out of nowhere. He has some good distance management. He has some great power in his hands. I mean, he, he slumped the last guy he fought. He slumped the last guy he fought on that, that, that card with, uh, I think it was like an undercard or some shit or a prelim or something. But he slumped him. So I'm not going to say that he can't bang with the guy. But Paula Costa's chin isn't really the best in the world. So it crime could definitely knock him out. It's possible. But honestly, just because of all the advantages that Ikram does have, I might have to lean in favor towards Ikram because he has that wrestling in his back pocket. He has that power in his hands. And even if it does become a bang session, I mean, he has more possible. He has a better possibility of winning. I mean, he has two different things to his advantage. He has knockout power and he has the wrestling. Paula Costa has the knockout power and he has the striking. But Ikram could do all three, so I'm gonna have to go with Ikram, man. Ikram is great. Uh, Paula Costa's takedown defense is pretty good too, but at the same time, Ikram he has he just has more tools in his toolbox, and if he effectively uses them the way that he's supposed to, and the way that like I can see him using them, I see him beating Paula Costa. And Paula Costa is getting pretty old anyway. Well, what the fuck? I, I did not mean to say getting old. I did not mean to say getting old. They the same fucking age. Man, look, bro. It's past my goddamn... All right. But, yeah, back to what I'm saying, man. Look, I got my money leaning towards Ikram Alaskarov. Uh, Because I feel like the looming threat of the takedown would be a lot on Paula Costa's mind. And I feel like he... I feel like that takedown threat is just so high for him that he, he'll be hesitant to do a lot of stuff. And when you're hesitant and you and you give too much respect to the, uh, the threat of a takedown then you start letting yourself get sloppy and, and picked apart on feet anyway 
So with that being said, man, I'm going to have to lean in favor towards Ikram. And let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, comment, subscribe. And we out, man. Yeah.